open live donor nephrectomies in 258 cases. Authors are Luxury HPW, Arutelwam J. Paper will be presented by Dr. Luxury HPW, Medical Officer, Columbus South Teaching Hospital. Good afternoon. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Varun Laksiri. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, Sri Lanka Med Medical Association for giving us this op opportunity. Uh, our presentation uh, is an outcome of open live down and nephrectomies in 258 cases. The open and laparoscopic surgeries are currently available options for live down and nephrectomy. Laparoscopic uh, live down and nephrectomy is becoming the standard practice in the world. But in Sri Lanka, open surgery is frequently done. This study reports uh, the outcome of 258 open live def uh, donor nephrectomies done by single surgeon. Our methodology was uh, we have uh, selected consecutive open live donor nephrectomies uh, and a patient uh, demography, uh, pre and post operative uh, serum creatinine and uh, side of live donor nephrectomy complications were recorded. Incomplete records and patients lost to follow up were excluded. Here our results, uh, finally uh, there were 258 uh, cases and 71.4% uh, of them were males and mean age was uh, 38 years. 68.6% underwent uh, left live donor nephrectomies. Mean preoperative serum creatinine is 0 0.90 milligram per deciliter and creatinine clearance was uh, 96.5 milliliters per minute. Three male patients developed renal bed hematoma, which required surgical evacuation. Two, right, uh, two, two of them were right uh, live donor nephrectomies, and one of them left side uh, live donor nephrectomy. One patient had pneumothorax uh, requiring intercostal tube insertion. This graph demonstrates uh, Preoperative and postoperative uh, mean serum creatinine uh, according to the time. Uh, we taken that uh, creatinine values uh, postoperative one week and one to two week, uh, two weeks to one month, and one month to three months. They are after three monthly until one year. According to this graph, this indicates that serum creatinine returns to normal value at approximately 12 to 24 weeks after the live donor nephrectomy. So our conclusions are the incidence of renal bed hematoma is 1.16%. Even though all patients who developed hematoma were males and two underwent right live donor nephrectomy, these factors were not statistically significant probably due to small numbers. But this additional risk should be explained preoperatively. Serum creatinine returns to normal value after 12 to 24 weeks. Thank you. Paper is open for discussion. Uh, have you seen similar morbidity patterns in uh, comparable studies? Uh, we go through some uh, literature, literature sir, but uh, didn't found. Yeah, because this is a fairly low complication rate. Yes. What is the general uh, hematoma, possibility of having a hematoma? Yeah. 
uh, even though this is uh, statistically insignificant because of the small number of cases uh, patients uh, who were underwent live donor nephrectomy who were male patients underwent right side uh, donor nephrectomy uh, having higher risk of uh, getting uh, hematoma and complications There is no difference. Uh, no, what was the reason for bringing serum creatinine? You are comparing open versus laparoscopic, isn't it? No, no. We are not uh, comparing uh, laparoscopy with uh, open. This is only regarding uh, open uh, donor nephrectomies. Yeah. Creatinine, the relevance? Uh, yeah, we, uh, which, is, uh, we, which is easily uh, in a pre-operative period and post-operative period, all live donor nephrectomy patients we assess doing serum creatinine. They are usually follow ups until, mainly until one year uh, in one week duration. Yes, that's one month. yes. Now, what that's why we uh, taken, uh, which is uh, easy for us to collect that serum creatinine.